Hey, are you ready for some hunting on the Tommy Wilcox Show? Tommy Wilcox Outdoors is brought to you by Alabama Credit Union. Feel good about your money. Mahindra Tractors, built for the long haul. Peach Outdoors, get the motor running on your next project with our Mahindra Tractors, ATVs, and lawn equipment. Tuscaloosa Toyota, one price, one place. Talladega County Exchange, for all your feed and agricultural needs. The band Legal Limit, Lou and the guys play all your favorite classic rock and country. Nelson Glass, for all your contract or residential glass needs. All music courtesy of country music legend, Hank Williams, Jr. Hey folks, welcome back to the show. We're doing a little quail hunt down here. I guess, Carl, we're, uh, we got off at the Gainesville left section. So tell our viewers a little bit. This is Carl Dooley. He's been quail hunting forever. Right, and, uh, right. Tell them where we at and kind of okay. what we're doing today. Okay, we're at uh, the Gainesville, as Tommy said, the Gainesville Epps exit. We're at Loudon Plantation. It's a sixth generation plantation. It was established in 1835. Originally it was 10,000 acres of farmland. And uh, the, the gentleman that owns it is is uh, uh, sixth generation living on the plantation. Uh, we've got a nine hole golf course here and some pretty terrain to quail hunt here in the Black Belt. And uh, so how, how many bird, how many covers you think we're gonna get out, get after here today and stuff? Uh, we should get at least 12 or 15. Cubbies, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be doing a little bit of walking and hopefully some shooting and some hitting. That's right, that's right. <laughs> some of both. All right, well, uh, I guess Andrew and myself will be kicking it off and uh, then we'll regroup and uh, get some other guys out there and we'll just keep flip-flopping around till we get you a good show. That sounds good, sounds good. I'm glad to have you here. If somebody's interested in wanting to come do a quail hunt with you, what's the best way to get up with you? Well, my, my website is Sykes, S-Y-K-E-S, placeplantation.com. My cell number is 205-799-1320. Carl Dooley, we've been hunting together a while now, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> we've been in Mississippi. Uh, 20 plus around years. Around here, yeah, a long time. If, if you love the quail hunt and you want to come out and uh, do some quail hunt in the old fashioned way, uh, give Carl a call. And as you, you'll be able to see on this show here today, he's got a lot of great birds and they're flying good too. Yes, so. sir. Yes, sir. So we'll be good to go. All right, sure. well, let's go finish this thing up. Sounds good. All right. Sounds good. You want to turn flush and dog loose, Tommy? Do whatever you want to do. Let's just hold her, Benny, right now. We'll flush and use her on the next block to see how these do. Good kill. Hang on, my words there, little buddy. Eight. There you go. Hey. 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 Shot Andrew. Hey. Let's see the bird. All right. Echo's got the bird. All right, Echo. Come here. Right here, Echo. All right. Ready? 
shot, Andrew. Uh-huh. Good shot. They're playing right, right back over our head, aren't you? Yeah. Catch that wind. Hey! Uh, he said there's another one here, man. Ready? Good shot, Andrew. Good shot, Andrew. Good shot, Andrew. You're a fish, dude. Hey, buddy. Hey. All right, let's go. Whoa. down around the Gainesville Epps exit, the old James place with Carl Dooley. Uh, doing a little quail hunting, got a bunch of guys here from Tennessee. Beautiful day, sun, look cool. Dog shouldn't get overheated and hopefully we'll, the birds have been flying pretty good so we'll be able to rack up a bunch of birds. So we're gonna take a quick commercial break Y'all stay with us for some more quail hunting with Carl Dooley uh, down around Gainesville. Hey folks, Tommy Wilcox here. Hey, if you're looking for a good pair of glasses to protect your eyes when you're out hunting or something that'll cut the glare down or in late afternoon to uh, really brighten things up for you, try these glasses, Hunter's Gold. Bobby Humphrey, who's an Alabama great football player, introduced me to them, and they work awesome. If, uh, if you're out and about in Alabama, you can go to Caliber and Homewood, or you can go to uh, Armory and Pelham and uh, pick yourself up. They, they high dollar glasses, but uh, you can't ever spend too much to protect your eyes and, uh, while you're out hunting to give you that extra daylight hours. Check them out again, Hunter's Gold. Hey folks, welcome back to the show. We're with Carl Dooley uh, down here around Gainesville, uh, doing a little quail hunting. Got a father-son duo right here. Got Scott and Andrew Hubbard. Andrew's been knocking them dead here the last few coveys, but guys, just glad to have y'all with us. Right yeah, and I'm glad to see uh, you taking your son hunting. That means a lot, man. We're losing Absolutely. so many people uh, this day and time to Game Boys and computers. And it's good to see uh, a father take his son out hunting. So yeah. uh, I appreciate it. that. And they say we got a big covey up here, like a 30 bird covey. So y'all ready? Yeah. We're ready. Let's go see if the dogs can find them, and if they can find them, I need your best right now. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't draw. 
<laughs> the price just went up, boys. <laughs> the whole world wants to know. I'm the camera guy. Uh, Andrew, how long did it take your mom to teach you how to shoot? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. I'm yeah. just playing with you, Scott. <laughs> 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 they brutal, Scott. I know. I mean, oh, they yeah. brutal, man. <laughs> hey, the camera did catch that puff, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we'll be right back with Carl Dooley. Uh, got Andrew Hubbard with me. Andrew, how you think you did this first go round? I did okay. I how missed... many birds you wound up killing, you think? Five or six. Five or six. You shot a couple pretty far away, man. Mm-hmm, yeah. How many times you been out quail hunting? Uh, I don't know, 20 times. Oh. Uh, you like them close, or you like them far away? It doesn't matter, I just shoot at him. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's go over there and give the dogs a rest, and then we'll go back out and uh, see if we can get you some more. Okay. All right, man. Hey, folks, welcome back to Tommy Wilcox Outdoors. Uh, you know, this segment, Everybody always asks me what it's like to play for Coach Bryant. Tell me what's your favorite story or what was your favorite game. And, and we try to do that every week through the life lessons uh, from my playing days with Coach Bryant. Uh, and one of the things I'm asked a lot is not only what game is my favorite game, but from doing Tommy Wilcox Outdoors, what is my favorite show? Like, you've done so many shows with so many big name people. Which one's your favorite? And uh, I tell them it's like, it's like your kids. I mean, you, you, you don't love one kid more than you love the other kid. Uh, at least, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, depending on their acting. But you love them all the same. And I love all the shows we've done. And, I, and let me tell you, I, I enjoyed taking Coach Saban fishing and Coach Miles fishing and Coach Mark Rick fishing and hunting with Hank Williams Jr., uh, Pam Tillis and Melt. I mean, I've been blessed. God's blessed me to, to, to be able to do what I enjoy doing. Uh, but one of the, the things I enjoy most is taking kids who are, are going through an illness or cancer or leukemia or someone that, that might not be given long to live, but you can make one of their wishes come true. And I've worked with kids outdoors out of Huey Town and worked with Carol Clark and Rick Clark, and they do a fabulous job with kids outdoors. And I tell you, 
some of my favorite shows or being able to take a kid hunting or fishing who has cancer, who's got six months to live, and for that one weekend, you give them 24, 48 hours to not worry about chemotherapy or getting stuck with needles or to worry about, Mama, is it going to be all right? Are you going to be okay? They're laughing. They're enjoying life. And uh, it's so, it, it, they're so strong. I mean, so strong. And to be able to see that smile and to capture it on camera and to be able to burn a copy to give to their parents that they can have in memory of their child is just so special to me. And, you know, I, I think a lot of times, yes, I've been, I've been blessed, man. And I try to give back and to take kids that are struggling or hurting like that and give them 24 hours of some of the best times in their life. And hopefully, if it just eases their worry for a little bit, then I've done my job. And uh, I've made a commitment to God that if he, I want to continue, you know, put these kids in my life, put these people who are struggling in my life so that I can give them, not just me give them, but that I can capture uh, the the, the joy and the smile uh, and, and to be able to let them enjoy their last few months of life with that trophy buck or that trophy fish that they always wanted to have. And uh, God's done that. So if you can take somebody that um, in life, if you can take somebody who's down, take them. If you can take a kid fishing or take a kid hunting that doesn't have a dad, Take them. If you can, if you can change somebody's life by uh, just a mere gesture of taking somebody fishing or hunting, take them. Because uh, we are blessed to be healthy. We are blessed to 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 have a long life. Because a lot of these kids who had these diseases don't. So my favorite, I guess, my favorite shows are the shows I do with kids. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with you. You stay with us. dogs we had on the ground was a pointer, uh, English pointer, and a German short-haired female. And Carl Dooley, that's, uh, that belongs to him, and he does a lot of his hunting right here on the plantation. Uh, the second brace of dogs was two short hairs, uh, two males, uh, Lester Flat, Bo Healy, Nashville, Tennessee, and also we had Waylon Jennings, uh, Glenn Johnson Franklin. And the last dog we had, that's Andrew's dog, Andrew Hubbard. That's uh, Loretta Lynn. No so, wonder he was flushing all the birds. That's right. <laughs> toward Andrew. So, that uh, makes sense. That, that makes good sense. That, that last dog we had on that nice covey rise, that belongs to Andrew. Good. Uh, we do a lot of our hunting here, also in Columbia, Tennessee. We do a lot of hunting there. and. Uh, so we, we from here to central Mississippi, central Alabama, and, and all around that loop, brother. There you go, man. There you go. Well, there we you. enjoyed having you out Appreciate today. Appreciate it. Enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank we you. had a great time, and the dogs were awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stop. 
Look loaded down, trucking on from town to town. Guns, bows, and a tackle box. Here come Tommy Wilcox. Hitting the water, hitting the woods. That Bama boy sure got it good. Always.